welcome to the official PageRage video tutorial. Today we will be introducing the new PageRage user login feature and how you can go about creating layouts for the PageRage public gallery. So to get started, go to the PageRage website, which is www.pagerage.com. Once you're at the home page, you can see in the upper right hand corner where you can sign into your PageRage user account. If you're new to PageRage and have not yet created a user account, click on the click here to join link or the big green button directly below. Signing up is easy and it's free. All you will need to supply is your username, email address so that PageRage can send you important newsletters as well as updates, and a valid password. So once you have all this information filled out, by clicking on the Create My Account button, you agree to the PageRage Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Remember to review those documents before submitting. So now that you have created your account, you can go in and edit your account. So sign in and click on My Layouts. And here's my personal PageRage profile. As you can see, I have all my layouts that I've created in my personal library. Uh, so now that you have created an account, you can now edit the account in numerous ways. Your options for editing include Edit Profile, My Layouts, and Change Password. And let's click under Edit My Profile. You have the option of changing your password, updating your email address, uh, giving profile information so other users can learn more about you, um, as well as you have the option of uploading a profile picture like I have here. So let's say you want to create a layout now and submit it to Public Gallery. Just click on Create a Custom Layout. And this is the CYOL tool for PageRage. And many of you have used this before, so I will skip through this very quickly. And here you can upload images, you can change the text color, click Save and Publish. Always name your layout. And categorizing your layout is very important as well. If you're submitting your layout to Public Gallery, you will need to categorize your layout so it's easier to find on the PageRage website. And check this box here if you want to submit to Public Gallery. Click Done. And now your layout should be in your personal library. So to go back to your account, click on My Layout. the sea of purple dream is there and it is this is my layout that I just created now if you're submitting your layout to public gallery the status for your layout will say in review for quite some time the reason for this is PageRage has to review your layout before they accept it to public gallery so once it is accepted to public gallery your status will change to public and if you don't check that box on the final step of the CYOL tool, uh, you don't want it submitted to Public Gallery, then your status will just read as private under that particular layout. And that about wraps it up for our new user features on PageRage. And with this new update, you can now share your layouts with friends as well as the entire PageRage fan base. It's pretty cool. So stay tuned for more video tutorials, and don't forget to like us on our Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com backslash PR